Hello, everyone. Okay. <laughs> How's my voice back there? I don't know if you can hear me well. Yes? Let me see. I'm trying to walk. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Salam Hoptab. I go by Ziggy. Um, thank you to the Future Prairie team for organizing all of this and creating this space. Um, I have two poems to share. Um, this first poem is called Shy Girl. At length. Um, Shy Girl is about me. It's just an event that happened, and I was really proud of myself, and I think it fits well with the theme Becoming, because I find myself having to learn how to become who I am living in this world with all the levels of oppression and just deconditioning and finding my truth and living it. So this is Shy Girl. Okay. Caramel queen, but I ain't that sweet. Tough like buttercup. I ain't buttercream, but I'm a little soft, just a little bit. Facade up when I huff and puff. A pass of being stepped on until I smashed on that ass. That's when I stepped up. <laughs> a little secret for the crickets, but don't get it twisted. If you keep barking, I may just bite. I'm a shy girl. That's willing to fight. <laughs> Beat her on the bush with the bullshit, I hate it. I'll come out in a bonnet like, why you fussing? Stop it, drop it. Take that stick at your ass or enjoy it. You ain't raining on me, I'm regal, I'm important. Take a gloomy attitude to Portland. Okay. Whoops, I'm in Portland. Bay made me and PDX played me. They say that racist shit be in Vancouver. We got BLM signs, so we cooler. But where the park at? And not the trophy ones on a podcast. I searched and searched and looked far and wide, wide eye when I finally bumped into a melanin and rich, cocoa butter smooth skin, black sister with blackity black coil locks defying gravity. She was, <laughs> she was levitating in that white mass looking like an oasis for my black ass, so I blurted, yo, you're beautiful. Then I walked off. Why? because I'm a shy girl. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, that's just insurance in case I forget. Um, so this next poem is called Golden, and it has nothing to do with the Jill Scott song. Um, it has everything to do with skin color. And I wrote this poem 10 years ago because a black man told me that he only dates light-skinned girls. And that was really weird. And it was not my first interaction with colorism, um, but it shook me so much that um, I had to make a response and I couldn't make it at that time. And it killed me because it was just such a nuanced statement and it had to be addressed, so this is golden. From cocoa to vanilla, every color from the spectrum. I'm golden, so I'm chosen. Standards from the rectum, bullshit perception. Anglo-Saxon traits on a scale are always near perfection. Melanin tolerated to an extent. Mama birthed the right dosage, because if I was any more golden, I'd be toasted, coated, and black would resemble my own race, and that would be all bad. Because you know I love my ebony, chocolatey, black brothers. I won't quit a love because they hold standards that restrict their love. So if I was any more darker, I couldn't be his lover. Red bone, yellow tone, only make the entry level lust. They say, it's a matter of attraction. I'm only attracted to, got to have at least a fraction of non-black in you. Self-hatred if you got a racial preference that excludes your own race, just face it. Just face it, I hate it when I make love to a woman that bears the same skin tone as my mother is what I'm interpreting. So you only fucking with me because I'm acceptable, bare minimum, because I'm caramel. I'm trending. I'm a season. So when summer comes, I better step my game up and get my color to buttermilk or butterscotch. Can't fuck with cocoa butter because I got to put on sunblock. So that means no walks on the beach because the sun will be fucking me up. And if that can be done, then I got to compensate with big boobs and a bigger butt. What the fuck? Who's the culprit? Who stole the spirit of love and made a color specific? 
Who spilled the blood on hip hop's lyrics? Who, who manipulated our generation's conception of beauty being static and fixed with only intentions of exclusion? Who defined it as dark equals wrong and fair equals right? It's too dimensional, it's too delusional. Our fixation with pigment makes me wonder where's the stigma that created this movement? Oh, y'all didn't know? Y'all don't hear the hymns on the radio, don't look at video of vixen portfolios, haven't seen them skin bleach and lightning cream commercials? Shame, because to them, I'm a natural-born model. Spokesperson, representative, you name it, they always say, oh, you my type on every showcase. Because I'm golden, so I'm chosen, you know. Same rhetoric, bullshit, perception, standards from the rectum got me yelling because my sisters fall victim to a fetish that excludes them because they ain't light, bright, yellow, whatever you freaky people like. And the irony is that black men, and the irony is you got black men with the same discrimination. I mean, quote unquote, preference. Yeah, right. Just leave my golden skin color as a phenotype.